Alright, so it's been a little while since I've made a Black Shot video, so I wanted to come in and just sort of update you on what's going on, what I'm doing in the game, what's going on with the game, and what I think is potentially going to happen this month, but I mean, we'll see, nobody even really knows what's going on with Black Shot anymore. So, um, recently over the last month or so, don't know exactly when it was, I can't really remember, they added in the tactics system. They also added in a way for you to obtain the NX weapons. Now these are going to be two things I'm going to talk about quite a lot in this video because it seems that no one's really paying attention to what Vertigo have actually done. In essence they've really just reset everything that you've done, they've just reset your progress. Because if you think about it logically, the mastery system that we used to have, it used to have the tactic, the, the gear slots, as they were called then, which you would unlock as you leveled up. So, you know, as you got higher rank, you would unlock more gear slots. Now they've replaced those with the tactic slots. Uh, okay, they're not exactly the same, but they, they I suppose the slightly more in-depth version of the gear slots that we used to have. Except this system costs you a huge amount of time to invest into the system. To get one point you have to play the game for four hours. That's right, one point is four hours. So if we look at it, um, there are five points on each row. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30. 40 points, okay? So that is, they want you to play for 40, 160 hours, is that correct? Yeah, I think that's correct. 160 hours of actual gameplay before you unlock all the points. Now, you might say, well, you know, it's, it's slow progression, it's not going to be such a, a big deal, X, Y, Z, you know, whatever you have to say. But you look at this little plus symbol here. You click on that plus symbol. Oh, huh, huh, <clears throat> interesting. It looks like I can buy points for gems. Hmm. So it looks like if I type, what would it be, 37? So if I type 37, oh God, I'm doing that incorrect, aren't I? Huh. So actually, I have two options, don't I? I can either play the game for 160 hours or I can just pay about $30. I think that's pretty much about $30. Again, I could be mistaken. Approximately $30. Huh. I wonder which one I would prefer to do. I wonder which one most of the cashers would do in the game. I wonder what, what actually happens if those players do that. What actually happens if the cashers buy all of these stat improvements and the free players don't get to obtain them for a long time. I wonder what happens in the game. Does that cause problems with people being paid to win because they've paid to unlock all of these points? So now they have an advantage over free players? Huh. But didn't Vertigo make a big thing? Didn't they make a big statement about play to win? Where they wanted to make the game more about your skill and the amount of time you played the game and X, Y, Z, all this stuff. Didn't they do that? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So, <coughs> the tactic system has replaced the gear slots. Anybody who earned all, who unlocked all of the gear slots and everything like that, you didn't get any points for free. They didn't say, okay, if you reach a certain rank before the before this system was implemented, we're going to give you 10 points, we're going to give you 20 points. They didn't give you any points for free. They just said, oh, everybody is starting at zero. Now, some people may argue, well, if they gave you free points, then new accounts would be behind fair point that is a fair point you could say that's given those players an advantage but don't you think after people have played the game for about five fucking years and they've spent money in the game for about five fucking years 
Don't you think those players should be given a little bit back? Don't you think they should get a little bit back for all the time that they've put into the game? Doesn't that seem reasonable? Because it seems reasonable to me. And if someone just comes into the game and they've played the game for a day, do you think those those players who've like supported and invested in the game for so many years, do you think they should be on equal playing ground as someone who just walks in and comes and plays for the best fucking couple of days? I don't think so. I think the people who've played a long time should get a bit of a a bit of a like boost, you know, as far as the tactics goes. Because they've actually put the time into the old system. And you've removed the old system. Now, moving on to a second point, And this is something, again, that I feel quite a lot of people are just ignored, really. In the old system, people focused on weapon types. People put their mastery time into weapon types. You bought boosts. You did all of the, you know, the, the amount of boosts and things that I bought for my weapon mastery and I imagine a lot of other people did a similar thing okay so what did they do well you spent all that money on the weapon mastery you spent all that time on the weapon mastery to unlock those higher tier weapons and they, they added them back in the game or at least from my understanding some of them have been added back into the game but how do you obtain these weapons? Well, you obtain these weapons through a very simple means. That's right. You play 2,000 games in game modes. 2,000 fucking games. And at the moment, as you can see, they only have two of the weapons added. That's the NX-1 Cyclone and the NX-1 Deathbringer. Now, I have no fucking idea what these names mean because we had them, you know, we just had them as um, NX-1, blah, blah, blah. You know, you'd say NX, SMG, NX Rifle, you know, people, I didn't, don't remember the names. I don't know what these weapons actually are. But what I will say is, how is this system fair? How is this system fair? You have people who spent all of that time working really hard to unlock the high tier of the weapons, whether it's the knife, whether it's the rifle. A lot of people obviously got the rifles, some SMGs, some snipe, you know, you get the drift. And now you've just taken that away from everybody and then you've added it back in. So you've said, you've worked really hard to get this. We take it away from you. And then we add it back in. And you have to earn it again. You have to do the same thing again. How is that fair? How is that even fair? How does that motivate a player like me to come into the game and go, Oh, I spent the last five years ranking up my rifle to get the NX rifle. And now they want me to do it again. Why would I do that? Think logically. Think fucking logically for a moment. Why would I do that? Because how do I know that they won't change the system in the next two or three years? Do you remember when Revolution first was introduced? Do you remember the fact that all of your weapons that you got from the gem boxes, that you got from any source, do you remember the fact that those weapons were permanent? And that you had to repair the weapons because they changed the system? What has happened? six months down the line and we are back to the old gem system they have reintroduced the timed weapons again so when they make a change they're gonna piss around with it they're gonna fuck us around with the change and then they're just gonna go ah we, we, we're gonna change it again guys we're gonna change it again guys Guys, we're, we're doing this again. We're changing this again. Guys, we don't have headshots in the game anymore. Oh, guys, we're going to add headshots back in the game. But but if you use certain guns, they're not going to headshot. If you use other guns, they're going to headshot all the time. AKs, 100% headshot. M4s, 50% chance to headshot. Blah, blah, blah. Different chances to headshot. Guys, we're going to have SMGs really strong in the game. 
then people complain, and, and I complained as well, that SMGs were too strong. So what did they do? They didn't adjust SMGs. They made SMGs almost worthless. Every time I try and play SMG now, unless I'm in shotgun fucking range of a player, they're useless. What do you want from the game? What does Vertigo want to actually do with this game? Nobody even fucking knows. Now, we're getting the maintenance quite soon, and I believe, and I, I hope this is the situation, I believe that in the maintenance, we're going to get the partner system reintroduced into the game. Now, they did have a little, like, um, they did have a little post about things they're planning on doing. I can't remember exactly what the fuck it said, but I, I think quite soon they're going to reintroduce the partner system. All right. So that's cool because that's trying to get you to get your partners to come, you know, another person to come into the game and play with you and, and be partnered up and, and all that sort of shit. Why they removed the system, I don't know. Do I think when they add it back in, it's going to be better? I just think it's going to be simple. I don't really, th I don't really see that they're going to make huge improvements to the system. If I'm wrong, cool, awesome. But I don't honestly believe that they're going to make huge changes to the system. But the final thing I'm going to talk about before I end, because I've obviously just been waffling on now for quite a while, is simply this. What does Vertigo want to do with the game? Because they make changes, and then they change those changes, and they just remove things and add things and, and adjust things. How many different versions of the Gacha Box have we had now? Remember when they made this big statement how the weapons you got from the Gacha would be customised weapons? They would just look better than the other versions. But now it's quite clear that they actually perform a lot better. That the gem weapons just perform a lot better. It's not about aesthetics anymore. Now it's all about how good the gun performs, basically. How many purple weapons do you see that actually are bad purple weapons? Think about that for a moment. Yeah. So that's it. That's all I've got to say. I don't know what to do in. We will see with the maintenance. Um, I will try and keep you updated if I can really be bothered. In all honesty, I don't play the game that much. Now that they took away everything that I did in the previous system, they just basically took it all away. Do you know all those items they removed from our inventory? Do you remember that, guys? Because I want to just remind you so that you don't forget, okay? They still have not been added back into our inventory. Just, just a bit of food for food for thought yeah here we go thanks for watching yeah i don't know what the fuck they're playing at enjoy guys <laughs>